Hey, it's Mr. Wolf Bucket, and welcome back to more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we began the adult link portion of the Spirit Temple, and we made it back to this giant room. And yeah. So I was saying last episode that you can go ahead and get the uh, dungeon map if you missed it last time. I did not mean to turn on my lens of truth. Uh, but yeah, I thought there was something else special you had to do, but no, you just have to do the same exact puzzle. But um, yeah, I was pretty stupid about that. Uh... We also collected the last two Skulltulas in the Spirit Temple, and that means there's only two left in the game. Holy crap. And I know where one of those are. Unfortunately, I don't know where the other one is, so I'm going to have to search to the ends of the freaking Earth to find it. One of freaking 100 Skulltulas. Luckily, I have video evidence of all the ones I've collected. So if we just use our hub... Oh my god, let's take these off immediately. Ooh, all right. <laughs> We just do that and play Zelda's lullaby. And I always thought this, uh, I always thought this puzzle was really cool, actually. I don't know what it is. I guess it's just the giant statue just makes it really freaking cool. But anyway, that spawns a tiny chest in the other one. So we go ahead and use a long shot. Let's get over to that one and open it up. And what else do we find but a small key, of course. What did you expect? Five rupees? Actually, it could have very well been five rupees, but nope, it was a small key, thank God. So let's go ahead and go... Go up here. Ugh. Sorry if I sound a little bit off tonight. Um, I've been... I've actually been recording quite a few episodes tonight, and I just... Oh, God, I'm going to ignore you! And I just... I don't know, I haven't really been feeling it lately. Uh, it's not that... I don't know. Never mind, I'm gonna stop talking about it. Okay, so we have a similar puzzle to the one we had in Young Link's section. However, once again, screw that, we have Din's Fire! And wow, there's three of them this time? Good lord. Um, hopefully we can get all three in one shot, because I'm running out of magic. Nope, of course. I'm just going to use a fire arrow on you, sir. It's much quicker. It's not quite as flashy, but it's much quicker. So die. Thank you. Uh, do we have to kill the Beemos? It looks like we do. Okay. It's not a big deal. Uh, that writing on the wall probably says something. I don't care to read it right now. Uh, so, yeah, we're not. You know what? Fine, we'll read it if it'll let me. Maybe not. I don't know what Navi was turning green about. Can you actually, can you not read that? Navi, what do you, what? what okay, fine, whatever. Whatever. Let's just go through the door. Uh, let's see, what goes on in this room? Okay. Alright, it's all starting to come back to me. Alright, so there's this jerk and... Oh! Right, I remember. Uh, all of these are animated, so what you have to do is kind of uh, trick them to coming over here on the switch, and you actually just have to run for it. So, if you could get on that switch... Ow! No, get on the... Uh-oh. Oh god. As long as one of you steps on the switch, I don't care. Someone step on it. Nope. Guys! Hey! Someone step on this switch. Ow. Not me. That's not a someone. Alright, go, go, go. Oh, really? Are you freaking kidding me? That's ridiculous. I freaking made that. And we have to sit through this stupid cutscene every stupid time. I don't like this puzzle. I do not like this puzzle whatsoever. So if one of you could just freak. Land on the. Ugh! Get on the thing and freaking stay there. Okay, good. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. Oh my god. This is the most obnoxious thing. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna wait for that stupid jerk to go back to its own spot. Oh, wait, it's gonna go on it. Oh god. If I can time this, I can get through. Ah! Navi, shut up. I know what I'm doing. Can I just, like, hit him and, and make him move? Uh, I can. Beautiful. Okay. Wow. Okay, so that's a much easier way of doing it. Hey, so to those of you watching, don't do what I just did. Well, I mean, do what I just did. Don't do what I was originally doing. Also, are there invisible chests in here? Because the compass is showing up their chests, but, uh... Hey, look at that! Link, open. There we go. A heart. Great. Why couldn't you have just given me pots? I don't know. What's... Oh my god. Seriously. Open it. Why didn't you just give me pots? Why do you have to have... Why do you have to be so secretive, game? 
Alright, so this probably looks familiar. And that's because it's like the same exact fight. Hey, Mr. Iron Knuckles. How's it going? Iron Knuckles 2.0. It's probably going to be easier because we're doing double damage. And I just got hit. Uh, uh, ah. Alright, yeah. Okay, it looks like he has more powerful attacks right off the bat. Uh, last time, like halfway through the fight, he would get those moves where he swings twice. But just keep doing jump attacks and keep not dying and we will be good. Yeah, look at that. Only got hit once, I think. Anyway, if you could drop like a million hearts. Uh, three. That's, uh, that, that's close to a billion. You know, not quite a billion, but pretty close. All right, so. Oh, my God. This is so cool. So we come back out here. Yep. Over there is where we came out after fighting the same boss as young Link. I love how this temple mirrors young and adult Link. It's just the coolest freaking thing ever. Anyway, in here we got a fantastic item, the Mirror Shield. The shield's polis polished surface can reflect light or energy. Press R to use it. Awesome. So we get a brand new spanking shield. And you know what? I have red gauntlets and red shield. I'm going to put on the Goron tunic because I'm feeling red today. Not sure what that means, but I'm feeling red. But uh, yeah, this is a pretty cool shield. Like I said, it can reflect light and energy. And also, I want to check if I can actually smash these with the uh, Megaton Hammer. I cannot. Okay. That's too bad. Uh, that's not a big deal, though. Alright, so let's go back out into this room, and I can show off how you use it. Because it's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, there's another one of those um, face switch things, but uh, nothing to reflect light except for our shield, and we just do that. Yep, so there's going to be a lot of light bending puzzles from here on out. And uh, what the heck is in here? A key? Yes, a key. Okay. Um, where does that key lead? Uh, oh, right, I remember. Okay, back into this room, there's a locked door. Got it. Got it. I know where we're going. All right, cool. And in here, oh god, it's this room, I remember this room, where I'm going to pull out my bomb shoes, because I do not want to deal with these jerks. So you die, and you, not you, you also die. Okay, so we see some moving walls, which is just absolutely obnoxious. However, we can actually make a pretty nice shortcut and not have to climb on those at all. I don't know why they made this wall hookshottable if they were wanting to, you know, make that an actual thing you had to do, but hey, if we can get through that without having to actually do it, why not? Alright, through this door is a pro oh my god. It's a pretty uh it's a pretty big puzzle. And even though it doesn't look like it, you can totally cut that through the bars. Let me go through here. And we have more light puzzles and the Lizalfos. Cool. Wow! Those go down easy as adult link. Good lord. Okay. So here, uh, let's go ahead and just reflect the lights up. Nope, not quite the right angle. Alright, it looks like those bubbles are actually uh, weak against it. So, um, yeah, you can use that to your advantage to fight these stupid bubbles. Oh, no, wait, no, they're not. They're just freaking out because they're freaks. Why are, you, why are you just spinning around, you stupid bubbles? Die, please. All right, you die too. All right. Now what we need to do is take this mirror, reflect it 90 degrees. 90 degrees? What does that even mean? I don't know. That was too many degrees. That was not 90. That was more than 90, I think. Is it going the right way? Oh, I guess it is. Okay. And then I guess we have to blow that up. Uh, apparently not with a bomb chew though. So let's go ahead and get a normal bomb. Actually, we could probably use our hammer, huh? Nope. Uh, okay. Bomb it is. Assuming that's what you have to do. I'm pretty sure that's what you have to do. That looks like a bombable wall. Yeah, it is. Okay. So then we have yet another... Oh, my God. Yet another Lizalfos, apparently. No, we have another mirror. And uh, we have to redirect this one as well. You can sort of see what's going on. Basically, we have to move the light so that it bends all the way to that giant mirror out there even though that's completely defying the laws of physics and that light is in no way touching the mirror but hey 
It's not a big deal. It's still really cool. I adore these puzzles, and I love that they brought them back in Wind Waker 2. It's just fantastic. Oh, hey, bombs, in case we were out. Neat. Uh, right back out here. And then ignore these giant... Or giant. Ignore these flying pots. Not giant pots. That'd be terrifying. Giant pots as enemies? Oh. Well, there's a ton of magic, which I will definitely take, as well as that one single heart. Then we can go ahead and use the lights and reflect it onto that thing. Lower the... What's it called? And we're back out here. Now what do we do out here? Easy. We reflect it onto the stone face and destroy it. Yep. And in there we have the boss key, or the boss room. However, we don't have the boss key. Yeah. And to be quite honest, I'm not sure where the boss key is. So we're going to figure where it is next time. I know it's a short episode, and I'm sorry, and I wasn't going to make it that way. But then I just completely forgot where the boss key is. Though, I mean, I, I, I guess I could try and find it. Um... Let me take a look at my map real quick. Um, see, we have... I don't... I don't know how to... Oh, we missed a room. Okay. Never mind. I think I may actually know how to get there. Okay, and never mind. Forget that I said we're going to be ending the episode. We're not going to. Because um, I missed something, clearly. I mean, obviously I missed something. Otherwise, we would be almost done. So, we're going to go try and find that. Is on the fourth floor. Uh, can I not have to defeat you guys, please? Is the game gonna be merciful? No, it isn't. Come on, the thing almost shot all the way up there. Oh jeez. Hit. Get there. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. And then. Oh. <laughs> so. Oh my God! It's such an obvious room that I missed. It's that one. Oh my god. How? Oh my god. <laughs> Something tells me a lot of people miss this room because that Triforce on the floor is actually not that obvious. Oh my god. Now I feel silly. I feel silly now. Oh good lord. Oh my god. Okay, so I remember this room. I don't remember quite what to do in it, but I remember it because it's really weird because of that, like, ice block looking thing. I don't know. And there's a bunch of fake doors. I don't know why this room exists. Uh, if you remember back in the Forest Temple, like, I kept mentioning that... Or, well, I kept mentioning... I mentioned that there's always one room that just doesn't make any sense in the dungeon. Uh, this is the one in the Spirit Temple. I don't get why it exists. Okay, so we have an eye switch. No idea what that does. We're going to find out. By shooting it! Oh, it just makes another block appear. Okay. This is a weird puzzle. It really is. So we go over here. Flick the switch. And then... Open that up. And we get the boss key, of course. Now... Uh, there's that room. In the central room with the giant statue that I honestly don't know how you get into. And I don't know what's in it. Oh, God! Oh, my God, Link. Nice job sticking the landing. But, uh, yeah, it's the one down there. I have no idea how you get into that. Um, looking at the map, I haven't been in there. However, we can easily just defeat the boss now, so... Yeah, we're going to do that next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And maybe I can figure out what's up with that room. I don't know. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this episode, and I will see you next time.